Hi, my name is Tina Bichardi and I'm one of the writers of the KYF short film, A Last Resort. So this film is about a girl who's talking on the phone to whoever you want it to be. It's subject to change to whoever watches it. This is unlike any other KYF short film we've made because we did it backwards. Instead of doing the pitching session and pre-planning and having a script ready for when we shoot the film, we actually got the footage first. So we got all the shots back in 2018. Uh, it was a very foggy night during one of our KYF meetings, so we thought we'd go out and take the opportunity to get some nice shots in the fog. We didn't have our main camera, the Canon C100, on us at the moment, as another group was borrowing it from us. But we did have a little Lumix point and shoot that Amy brought, and we just went out and used that. For me, it was a great learning experience on the camera, learning how to compose shots and seeing what the other members do, because we all got to take turns on composing a shot each. We actually didn't know what this film was going to be about. At first, it was just going out and getting some nice shots in the fog and just learning new things about composition and framing and the camera. We were outside for about an hour and a half uh, filming all these different shots in different locations. And when we got back, we all set challenges for ourselves to split into groups and each make a voiceover for these shots. So I was in a group with a former member of KYF, her name is Cleva O'Farrell, and we wrote a last resort. So we thought about what the idea was and what we wanted the voiceover to be. And when we came back the next week, we both wrote parts, pieced it together and made the voiceover. So when it came to editing, it's quite a simple approach. There isn't any music with like, words in it that would take away from the monologue. The cuts aren't too big and snappy and taking away from the monologue. And it all just complements each other, I feel. So when it came to the other person on the line, we actually didn't choose at first to not have anyone speaking. We actually just ran out of time so we couldn't record it. But it actually became one of my favorite parts that you can't hear what they're saying and it's more of a muffled dialogue. Because then it doesn't take away from what the main character is saying and it keeps you on focus to them rather than someone else on the line asking questions. And it's also up to your imagination for whoever watches it on what you think the other person is saying. And you get a sense of what they're saying through the main monologue and the responses from the main character. But in the end, it's still up to you what they're saying on the other line and how you view it yourself. So to conclude, the film isn't this big, mad production it's quite simple in the making of it but i think it's quite effective and i really like the film i like how it turned out you can watch the film here hopefully and there will also be a playlist of all the other director insights along with the films that go with them so link down below will be our instagram where we post updates about stuff that's happening awards we've won films we're making, anything coming up on the YouTube channel. And you can also subscribe here to watch more of our short films. I've been Athena Fichardi and thank you for watching.